You know, man, Wild C shit, man. Messy pocket record shit, man. We out in the A, we lie. Oh, Murder Studios, man, you know. And that's just how it is, man. And it's just gonna, it's gonna keep being that, you know. So, uh, we on that. And let's continue to be on that. Simple as that. Trey, what's poppin'? What's the word, man? Chillin', Welcome chillin'. to Music Heads, man. Appreciate you for coming through. No, man, appreciate you for having me through, man, you know. So what's been going on, man? Man, you know, really, really, same old, same old motion. You know, just a different day, you know, slow motion better than no motion. So, you know, niggas just really been on the same type of time that I've been on. But I've been in the booth. I've been clocking in the booth. I've been networking. And I just ain't been dropping. That's the only thing that I ain't been doing. But just know when I do drop, niggas going to be like, oh, like, this is why this nigga, like, I'm a... Niggas gonna think they seen a ghost for real. Like, that's why. Like, that's why I ain't been dropping. I just been looking for beats, making sure I'm saying the right shit. All that. Like, I have a song for two months. Go back if I don't like one word. I said I'd be like, nope. Let me re-record it. Right. Like, I'm like, that's why when I drop, niggas gonna be like, oh yeah, this nigga talking some shit and like. All right, man. Well, um, <clears throat> when is the last time you dropped song? What's the last last um, single or album you dropped? Nah, the last time I dropped something, nah, the last time I say I dropped a song was, I can't even let you know when, for real, for real, I can't even give you a, I'll say last year though. I seen on was, um, was Apple Music year. that you got something that dropped in 2021 though. Yeah, 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 I got, uh, yeah, last year, I got a, uh, I had an EP that dropped, I did a little EP. Written Dreams, you know, I got that EP, and then um, I got a solo with Babyface Ray and V's. I did that, then I got another solo, uh, uh, another solo uh, by myself, freestyle. I got a few solos. Okay. And it's just like, I don't really even be dropping though. Like, I ain't really got a bunch of stuff that people could really even go like, look at if they wanted to, you feel me? Like, if they really wanted to just be like, who is this nigga? They'd fuck around and have to go on my Instagram. Like, and they'd be like, more than just going on my, like, YouTube or, like, music catalog. And that's really a problem for real, you feel me? Like I went on your YouTube, and it wasn't a whole lot of traction on your YouTube. That's what but, I'm saying. But I, I also went on the YouTube channel that you posted that video on, and that's at, like, 800 and some thousand. Mm -hmm. Views. That's, that's almost at a million views. Yeah. So it's and not then, like, it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, then it was plus like all of the promotions with that too, though. Like, you feel me? I had uh, my peoples, they had Say Cheese, College Kid, Detroit Rap News, The Hip Hop Lab. That's like, the and Dirty Glove, like five I could think of off top, they had them posted. So I when did you start? Off, when did you start noticing, man, that you was gaining some traction in the city, man, on your <sighs> Really, I figured that out in like, I say, I, I figured out I was gaining traction in the city in like, I want to say around like 2017, anywhere from around like 2017, 2018. It was around that time, cause, you know, I always do my little own little thing on Instagram, whatever, whatever. But, you feel me? Like when I just started like. Catching the crowd for real, catching the way, like people really like noticing me when I step out and all that. Like 2017, 2018 for real. Describe it to us. Like, like, like what, what took place? How like, really, uh, you know, I was uh dropping music videos and songs, but what I do, it was like 2017, 2018. I'm a young nigga around that time, so I'm all like I'm young, young though. So it's like I'm always doing like some funny shit on the gram. You'll catch me doing something funny, like, or just anything. Like, it's just anything. Like, it'll just be easy to just like, you feel me, catch a little wave in the city around that time. Like around 2017 era in Detroit, it'll be easy to catch a wave. So, like, we'll fuck around getting on off of fighting at a skating rink. And you feel me, it get posted on the gram, they who is that? Everybody knows us. Like, you were getting on off like the most simplest stuff, but you feel me? I started just like they. I started catching the crowd off like music that I was posting. I post little freestyles and all that, 
And then people would just start reposting it. People would be messing with it. And then I started dropping real music. Like, I do real music videos. Then that's when, like, it got, you feel me? Like, it'll be different. Like, I was actually, like, at the time, I'm, I'm 13, but I'm 15. So everything I was doing when I was 15, it was born. Then when I'm 15, I'm 18. So everything we doing now is we trying to get rich. It ain't really like nothing else to it for real. It's like, that's why it's like, I was like, people seeing me, it's like I'm seeing kids. They like, you, you, you trade money? I'm like, at a gas station? I'm like, yeah. Like, at first it's like, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm him. Like, what up, bro? Yeah, I'm him. Then it's like, but at first a little nigga was acting weird, like, he was scared to say something. His mama had to come up to the car like, one of y'all rap? We like, yeah, we do. She like, oh, my son be watching one of y'all videos. He was scared to come up to y'all. I'm like, that's why that little nigga was staring like that. But then it just be like a, a bunch of more stuff, though. Like, I just be thinking about how many people actually really know me, and it's like real genuine love, you feel me? Like, out that I don't even know. Like, strangers, for real. So who do you think, like, who do you think your fan base is? Like if you had to, um, if you had to guess, you say you got more female supporters, male supporters. I really say I got more like it's really like fifty fifty with me. With me specifically, I say it's about fifty fifty, cause. But no, I say females more, and I feel like that's just with anybody though, cause females gonna show love more than niggas anyway, bro. Like in my opinion. I feel like females gonna show love more than niggas anyway. Like a female will repost my shit before a bunch of niggas do. A bunch of females gonna repost it before a bunch of niggas do. So, you feel me? I just say like I catch like I catch a teen crowd like my crowd like the crowd that I be needing to catch. That's the crowd that I catch. Then I catch different crowds too though. You feel me? It's like people from everywhere, but girls for surely though. Like I catch, I'm catching girls and niggas. It's like I catch both of them crowds like then swoop them up. Okay, so what's next, man? What can we expect from you next? Because, I mean, you done caught your wave. I know you want to keep the wave going. Yeah, What you, what nah. you going to do to keep this steam going, man? <clears throat> Not really. Uh, To keep the wave going, what? I ain't the only nigga rapping. You feel me? It's me. And then you got my nigga Ace. You feel me? Me, Ace. Like, the top two out the group. Ace rapping, I'm rapping. It's really just on some shit like, that's my, like, you feel me though? Ace like though, that's my Ace Boom Coon. So it's like, once he drop, whatever he do with his shit, I'ma do the same thing with my song. Or when I drop, he gonna do the same shit. It's like, we just waiting on each other. But he be dropping though, like, he drop more than I drop. All that, like, you feel me? It's just that I got a way bigger fan base, way bigger interaction with my fans and all that. He dropped way more than me, though. It's just like we both hard as hell, though. Like, Let me ask both. you about that, though. Let me touch on that. Like, <clears throat> is it easy for you to, like, respond to your to your fan base? Or is it like, because I know it be so many people inboxing and all that type of stuff. Like, is it easy for you to keep that connection going? Or sometimes do you find yourself slacking? Nah. Like, for real, for real, I'll say it'd be easy, but it'd be hard at the same time. And, like, I just say, like, like for real, for real, like, it don't even be, like, just with my fans, period. Like, it'd be, like, with fans, family, all that. Like, it'd just be, like, if I ain't texting back, calling back, any of that, like, I ain't interacting with nobody, it's damn near like, I damn near ain't, like, I really don't be having time for myself for real. You feel me? Like, I be caught up in my thoughts with myself. So, I don't be wanting to, like, you feel me? Like, I don't be wanting to waste my time, my energy on conversations that I don't want to have anyway. You feel me? Like, that shit be pointless to me. And it just be like, you feel me? It's like when you only used to just talking to, like, one person or just some shit about, like, just certain stuff that you go through or anything. Like when just you, like you just used to just talking to like a specific person about that, then you just can't talk to that person. It just be like fucking. I just just leave me be. You feel me? Like, and then it ain't like no disrespect thing though. You feel me? And like that's what I want my family 
to understand with that shit though. And like it don't even be like no disrespect thing. It just be like I be caught up in my thoughts. I really don't be wanting to talk. Like shit, it ain't nothing to talk about. What we gotta talk about. And then once I get out of like my caught up thoughts though, yeah, we gonna chop it up, all that. Feel right. me? But that's right. like how it is with everybody in my family though. Like we all go through our own shit and be in our own lane. And like, you feel me? But it be like, like it's I love, say, it ain't nothing wrong. Yeah, it's love. Just, how we just be like, yeah, that's just how we handle. Like we all handle shit different. Everybody handle shit different. Like you and me, the nigga, his mama died. He crying about it. Me, the nigga, his mama died. He joking, laugh about the shit. Like niggas cope with death different. Everybody different. So it's like, that's just how I move though. But like when it's coming like to interacting though, I interact because it's like I ain't no bougie nigga. Like you feel me? Like no. You approach me. Yeah, like, yeah, like, approach me. Like, that's what, like, made me mad. Like, if I'm out, you catch me out, don't be just staring at us and, like, all that. Because I'm be like, we going to start getting a little hostile. But then if you, like, you feel me? If you, like, approach me, like, what up? That's going to make me, like, even way more comfortable. Like, what up? Like, it's going to make you way more comfortable, too, if you approach so me. So you're willing to, to embrace your fans and you, 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 you respect that. Yeah, it's like... I don't see nothing wrong with it, cause it's like shit. What's the fuck am I a rapper for? I'm gonna have fans. Like right. that's what they for. To run up on me and all that. Like what what's the, the um what's the streams doing? Like are your streams doing well? Um shit, my streams did that. I never dropped again. <laughs> my streams went up, man. My streams went up. I I stopped dropping. Like that's the thing. Like when I say ace is consistent, like if ace could have did what I did. Like, if Ace would have did what I did, he'd still be doing, like, I'd say, quarter meal or more on views, every video he do. But I just ain't do it right. I did the song, did like a million views, did the video, all that. Like, then just, you feel me, went MIA. But it's like, Everything happened for a reason. I, I don't even know why that happened. I don't even know that reason yet. So it's just like when I do come back though, everybody gonna be mad because a lot of these niggas spots about right. to be gone. Speaking of that, let's let's touch on that for a minute. How do you know or feel like you got a hit record? Uh, cause y'all scared of me, bro. And y'all know who y'all is. Like Every nigga that be texting me on all that cool shit, wanting to do songs, I'ma fuck with you. Y'all really scared. We ain't do no songs yet. Y'all scared. I'ma I'm eat y'all up on that song. Y'all know that. Then I'ma take y'all spot. They labels might drop them, wanna fuck with me. You never know. Niggas is scared though, because they know I got it. Y'all know who y'all is. They know. Anybody, you know some of them too. I do. You know some ooh, of them. Ooh, ooh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but they know. They know. Tell them niggas they know. You um anybody you want to work with, man, that you haven't worked had a chance to work with yet yourself? It's a lot of people I want to work with for surely. It's a lot of people I want to work some with. Love real quick. I just know like time come with everything, but like really I can't even think of like off like top, like off top who I want to work with. It's probably like Nobody for real. It's like that shit damn near like, I just know what come with it. Like, I just know what come with it and I know how niggas is. Like, I'm done on all that handout shit, all that shout out. Cause niggas, like, I feel like with this industry or like this day and age, a nigga like, you gotta dick suck somebody to like, get through that door. And that ain't what I'm about to do. I'd rather just kick that door down. Cause a bunch of niggas then kick the dough down. I can kick that bitch down. Shit. Okay, but, so you feel like you don't want the shit thrown in your face. Oh, I looked out for you type shit. That too. And it's just like, not even that though. I just don't. I, it's like, I just feel like anything could be a competition. You feel me? Just off of experience. Like, shit, one nigga will work with you, but it won't even be love. They will say it's love. Like, it'll be like. I don't give a fuck about this rap shit. Like, you feel me? If it's love, it's love. So whatever you doing for me and you saying it's love, it's love. A nigga will really just be doing some shit, though, to say that they did some shit. You feel me? Like, my mama, she used to be in jail. So a nigga will hear that, like, some nigga doing some shit with me on some rap shit, then boom. A nigga will try to come do some shit on some rap shit. 
be like, yeah, bro, I'm doing, you know, I really love you. I don't want to see you out here getting hurt or nothing. But no, he ain't doing that because he loved me. He really doing it so he could just be like, yeah, Kyrie, yeah, you know, I just took Trey to the studio or do whatever, whatever. You wow. feel me? Just to say he did some shit. That's what it be. It Trying don't be love. It, it just be just to say they did some shit. Or just to be like they in secret competition with another nigga out in the streets that then like did some shit for me. Like how, it be how like, old are you, Trey? 18. Okay, okay. You sound like you got a little wisdom under your belt. Do, that do, come from, do that come from like life experiences? And yeah. Life, fan, just really, yeah, life experiences. And everything like that. So when you vibing, when you chilling by yourself, you vibing, you listening to music, who you listen to? Uh, I listen to GT. I listen to Wayne. Uh, Nita Baker. I listen to Betty Wright. Who else? Shit. Oh, okay, so you do have an old soul. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I listen to like now, the Betty Wright thing. I know that 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 remind you of your mama. Yeah. I already know what that's yeah. about. Mm hmm Like okay. That and Anita Baker though. Like just hearing like you feel me. Like it'll just be certain songs. Her like my mama, my grandma Shula. Them two. That's why I listen to them two though. Cause I uh, remember just being with them early as fuck. I just hear them songs being played by one of them, Betty Wright or Anita Baker. The house just getting cleaned. I'm waking up like, what the hell? Like, it's early <laughs> as fuck. My grandma and my mama cleaned it up. Grandma Shula got some grits or something on the stove. Yeah. Music just loud. I'm like, this is what it is. Where my mama though. And it's crazy, like, now that you older, like, you probably never even thought that those memories would be the Man, ones. like, those memories would be the ones that I really, like, cherish for real. Like, yeah. it'd be, like, the ones that I thought I'd cherish, like, all the fun shit we did. Like, no, nah, it'd be like the little shit. Like yeah. the ones like, I really miss getting my ass beat by my mama sometimes. <laughs> like, it'd be like the little shit for real. For real, for real. Damn. It'd so be the so I, shit. I was um listening to your music, and I heard you say something. You, you never been in trouble before, huh? Not for real. Okay. So you managed to, uh, and you from Detroit. Yeah. And you managed to stay out of trouble. Yup, the best way we can, the best hey, way I can. Hey, man, that's a hell of an accomplishment, though. Real yeah, talk. Yeah, for surely. For surely. For surely it is, because it's like, it'll just come your way. Like, it'll just come your way on some unexpected shit, though. Like, it'll be, you ain't even got to be cut from that way. Just that city. I should have just come to you. So, are you... <clears throat> Are you, do you have plans on relocating eventually from Detroit to somewhere else or? Mm-hmm. Um, I wanna what I wanna do is uh I'ma get a crib. I'ma have a crib in Michigan. And I'm thinking about getting a crib out here in Atlanta. But if I wanna get a crib out here, but if not out here, I wanna do somewhere out in Texas. I've but, been hearing a lot of good things about Texas. Yeah, man. Texas, they got some nice ass cribs for the low. But that's I what, heard that's that like what your attraction is? Yeah, but I heard mean? that like it's just they houses, like they so nice. Like okay. but then I heard like if it's like a bad thunderstorm, them bitches ain't nothing for real. Like they mm. you ain't even got no house no more, basically. But uh I wanna get it. Yeah though, and then I wanna get like a little probably like a little timeshare in Cali or Miami or something. Get like a little big ass timeshare though. Like not like no little regular one though. Like, right. So when I do go out there, it'll be like I could go out there like on some my crib, big as hell, big ass backyard, pools in the back, basketball right. court. Okay, in the you back. got those big dreams. Oh, that, yeah. Okay. So um, we need that new music, man. What's going on, bro? It's it's in the vault for sure. It's in the vault. So you already got songs like Rope that you just songs. haven't that you just haven't recorded yet. That I got songs wrote that I ain't recorded yet. I got songs recorded, all that. Oh, you got songs recorded that you haven't released? Mm -hmm. I got oh man, songs what you waiting on? Are it. you putting the album together or are you dropping the single? Uh, it's really like you know, it's just like a certain way you just gotta do shit. It's like with me, 
Like, you could ask, like, everybody I be around for real. Like, they'll tell you, like, I don't really like, you feel me? Like, it'll be like, what am I about to go to the studio and rap about having 10 in my pocket for if I ain't got 10 in my pocket? You feel me? So, like, be like, bro, no, like, let's go get these racks right quick. Then, you feel me? We then hit the studio. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling good. Then we can get up on this little shit, like, but that's why. When we do hit the stoop, I be talking. Every song I got hard, but no, though, I'm just waiting for the release. Like, I'm going to buy the beats, get the songs mixed, all that. It's just like time coming with everything. Like, I could easily just buy the beats, get the songs mixed, shoot a video, release them. It's just a certain way I want to do everything, want the way, like, want certain stuff to look. You feel me? And then I just got way other stuff to worry about, though. Like I said, like, rapping. Sometimes be my last priority. Like, okay. Be my okay. last focus, but that's what, you know, that's what it's all about, though. Niggas really getting rich off that rapping shit. Right. I'm trying to be one of them. Any producers out there that you that you that you particularly like they beats? Uh, yes. Uh, DJ Brown. Like Wood on the beat. His tag. Wood on the beat. Uh, C Stacks. C Stacks. Uh, who else? Shit. BB. BB had to do it to him. Uh, Hard Knock. JC. MIA JC. Katie and Jew. What do you look for in the track? Soulfulness, percussion, cadence. What, what, what you looking for? It really just depends like, on what type of vibe I'm on, for real, for real. Like, It'll be like, if I'm in the, like this, you feel me? Like, see, like, with something like this, like, I'll just be in the booth, like, with, like, this beat, you feel me? I found this beat. Money, baby, money, baby. Yeah. It's just dark, little blue neon lights was on in the booth, so. I'm just like, oh shit. And I wrote the song literally in like 20 minutes. Thanks, Ace, I swear to okay. God. Okay. Found the beat and wrote the song while we was in the studio. Like, them niggas recording. I'm like, hold on. It's dark as hell, blue little light song. Heard that beat. It like, like the vibe. You feel me? Whatever vibe I'm around, AC that's how it's going to be. <laughs> AC approved that message. That's how it's going to be. Like, the vibe, whatever vibe I'm around, how I'm feeling, that's like how I'm going to start writing my song for real. Okay. So let me ask you this, man. <clears throat> Your pops. Right. Do you think that's where the rapping talent comes from? Shit, really? I say my pops. It's like my pops, my mama, my cousin. It's a bunch of different shit. Like, you feel me? I was young. I don't know how old. Like, you feel me? Cause of y'all, he had a studio in the. Nigga, you can talk like I'm right, right here. Nigga, you, me. nigga, had a cousin studio. <laughs> I mean, nigga, you had a studio in the backyard. Yeah, I remember you. Came, you came back there. I think when you was like what six, five. Younger, and probably. I, like, I don't oh, know. Man, you can't cuss, remember? I yeah. Cuss. Listen, look, dog. Yeah, I was. Cuss. I remember. I'm like, like, nah, man, you can't cuss, bro. You listen, a little mighty. Fuck all that. I remember. <laughs> I uh. I was at my daddy's house. I'm like, yeah, daddy, I'm about to write a song. You feel me? Y'all not going to let me record it at the studio. He like, uh, he like, all right, better when you record it. He like, tell y'all don't let me hear it. Tell y'all not to call me and let me hear it when you record it. I'm like, all right, bet. Nigga, so everybody was at the studio the night before I go. Bro, why these niggas uh, ripping they raps out they notebooks that they rapping and all that? They ripping the raps out the notebooks, throwing them in the garbage can after they done recording. Nigga, I didn't win it. Uh, unball one of the papers. You feel me? <laughs> Take it back to my daddy crib. Like, yeah, listen to this song. I was talking so crazy because it wasn't even my song. He like, bro, you don't know nothing about these type of cars, clothes, rims, none of that. <laughs> Nigga, like, you never even been downtown at the MGM before. Trey, Trey, like, what is you talking about, bro? <laughs> like... That joke was crazy, but then I eventually, like, you feel me, wrote a song and was like, you feel me, like, he he liked it. He was like, oh, yeah, it's nice. It sound nice. Okay. So I did that. But, like, yeah, though, I'll say the studio that you had in the backyard, 
like Lil Wayne and my mama, my daddy, shit, and just like, that's just what I wanted to do. So I don't Lil know. Wayne was one of the rappers that you kind of like enjoyed his music? Yeah, I fucked with Wayne, he hard. Okay. So Lil when did you start noticing like the older guys in the hood was taking notice? You know what I'm saying? Because I was here, you know, I'm down here, but I'm still hearing about everything that's going on in the city, you feel me? And they like, yeah, Trey Trey catching traction down here, he catching a little heat. It's like, he, he, say, on the, he on there with this nigga, that nigga. I'm like, okay, okay. I say I been had, like, a reputation because off of just who my peoples is, off of the simple fact, off of that. But then, like, like I say, I got a reputation off of my music shit. I say them niggas started catching it. Since my people's been around, cause it's like, like I said, you had the, you had the studio already. I was a baby, so shit, they had to already know this nigga yeah. Tay gonna be rapping. I was in the backyard every day. They had to already know. But then, like I said, I should just had to hit them. You feel right, me? Like, right. oh yeah, they had to see it. You got that hood love anyway, regardless, right? Okay. Well, look, man, I mean, I do want to touch on some personal shit just to see, you know what I'm saying, where your head is. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know you just went through a traumatic thing. The whole family did. Right. You know what I'm saying? So how Keep you doing? Going. How you doing, man? Shit, for real, for real, it's like you just got to go with life. You feel me? Like, uh... You feel me? Uh, GT, when that little shit popped off, he reached out to me. He was like, uh, you feel me? Like, uh, like God just, like, everybody was really, like, telling me the same shit for real. Like, God just put they, uh, strongest soldiers through the toughest battles, bro. So you gonna get through that shit. He like, cause God got something in stores for you. He like, that shit. I guess everything pop off for a reason, you know? But it's like, I just deal with life like how that shit come now though. That's just off of like, mm, I guess off of just how I grew up, watching my family move. I just deal with shit how it come. I was yeah. having a talk with your moms, man, um, one day when she got out of jail. And she was like, um, you know, watching. You know, it ain't no secret. I done been in jail a whole lot of times, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, every time I would go, I would never call home, you know what I'm saying? Nigga just go do his little shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. fuck it. And she told me that shit gave her strength, bro. You know what I'm saying? When she was in that bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? She was like, just like shit, that nigga y'all don't be going to jail doing his little shit like she fuck it. So she was like, cuz you strong as fuck. You know, we had them type of talks. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I just had a talk with her, like, not even a week before she passed and shit. And she was saying, like, she wanted you to come down here and fuck with me on this shit and all that shit. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad you finally came down right. here, man. You know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? Bless the booth and shit. You know what I'm saying? For sure. It ain't even over. And, 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 and I don't know if you realized it or not, nigga. That's the same microphone that you recorded in when you was a kid. See, you got all the old songs. <laughs> and I was, it's crazy. I was going to bring that up the other day to Ace. I was like, this nigga, y'all probably got all the old songs. Cause was I telling you like uh Lovia recorded the song and shit? My cousin. I was Lovia, listening to that last she week. She had recorded a little Rihanna. song. Yep. Yeah. She had like was singing or some shit. Yeah. I don't know. I just remember the cover. It was snowing was outside. Yeah. She had so the little pink right jacket right on. Yep. Yeah. She had the little yeah. pink jacket on. Still I still got that song. Cover. I was listening to it the other day. I'm like, I still got that song you and your mama did. Where's one? I could teach you how to cook crack. You know that shit? <laughs> you gotta let me hear it. I still got you that gotta shit, bro. You gotta let me hear that one. I swear to God, you gotta let me hear that one, y'all. Yeah, I still you got it, man. You gotta let me I hear that one, y'all. You gotta let me hear all the old shit, because it's like, bro, you got, like, they don't even understand, like. Classics, man. Detroit don't even understand. So I know Atlanta don't even understand, but the world don't even understand, yeah. bro, like. But it's blood, sweat, and tears behind that, so I had to hold on to that, man, because Literally. we know we done lost too much. We, do, we, we That shit done scraped the ground with us, so, you know what I'm saying? Omira, man, gonna always be home base no matter where you know, I move, bro. Always be that, you know like, for real, for real. 
And you know, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you a little history about that shit. When I first built my studio, I was calling my shit Dungeon Studio Cellar, Dungeon Studios, and somebody was like, "That's outcast and them shit. You can't use that." So I switched the name of it to Cellar Studios, but I ain't never liked the name. That shit sounded stupid to me. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> then the kids at Persian, they started calling our street old murder. You know, everybody was getting killed and shit mm -hmm. on that bitch and all that shit. So they like, man, I ain't going down on, I ain't walking down on murder. No so crap. I just adapted that name from that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? That's how it yeah. was, for real. All them unsolved ass murder murders and shit, you know? And that's exactly how it is on our side. Yeah. On our side specifically. So, you know. Like shit, my daddy died on that bitch. Myji died on that bitch. Like Cal, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like we just we lost a lot of family on that for bitch, real, bro. For real. real talk. But we had a lot of good times on the oh, O. Yeah. Oh like, yeah. Like we done yeah. really turned yeah. up on the O for real. Like, but I ain't gonna lie though. But I say though, nigga, like about forty houses on Omira, thirty five of them vacant, nigga. Like. I swear to God, like you, but yeah, that shit that is like, empty. it's like if you know, but you, you know, know what, you know what, man, it's, it's like a comfort zone. Dope phase did it that ain't shit, empty. Man. It's not empty if you right, like. Right. It's Dope like phase did that you, shit. They went through that stripping. If you had miles, moments over there, man. you gonna forever. Cause feel we always like, tried to protect the property over that motherfucker. Yeah, I ain't gonna say only the dope things. Police too. Police too. That too. That's Probably not the police, but the city. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But a lot of really most of them houses was getting set on fire. <laughs> it was really yeah. dope page yeah. for real. Yeah. Some crazy yeah, shit, bro. but But I hope you come out with a new album, man, new song, cause I know now, you know what I'm saying, you done been through a few more things, man. And I know I want I wanna I wanna hear that in that music, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got some I got like so many different like styles, you feel me? Like so many different type beats, all that. It's just that when everything is, you feel me, like ready to be recorded, let out. Not even recorded, once it's time for everything to be let out, it's gonna be heard how I want it to be heard. Yo, 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 your music actually got soul in it too, man. I was playing um, one of your tracks Cause I put some of your music on the platform last night, and I was listening to one of them tracks, and I'm like, okay, I can hear the soul coming through that shit. Yeah, it's you know like with the beats, like it's like everybody be saying that, like that's what I be saying, like it's off of like the type of vibe that I get, like with the beats that I'ma pick and then what I'ma say. Yeah. Like I just know how to start off, like if I'm coming on there, like I just be talking, like yeah, like I'ma come on, like with the song that I got, like I can't be in the D forever. Fucked up at a young age that she's had me on whatever. Died so many cases, never even been on tether. If you cold, take the sweater. Let me try to make it better. Still remember, Mo died. I wanted to burn some shit up. Yeah. And yeah. then it come in like straight like that. That's when all the bass come in. Like yeah. It's like I'm a talk. So you it's gonna be heard really, how I want it to be. You don't heard. like to record unless you feeling that shit. Yeah. You're not just getting in that bitch just to get in there. That's what I'm like, that's what I'm saying. Like, A's no, we go to release. the studio. That's how you we go to the stress. studio, pay for the whole session, and I probably like it'll be like them niggas recording. If I ain't feeling it, I'll just be like, bro, no, they'll be like, all right, bro, we'll hop on this shit. I'll be like, no, bro, I ain't even I can't even rap. Ah, like it'll be like, I can't rap right now. I don't know how to rap. Like that should be Damn, crazy. so let me, is it like a, is it like a build up? Is it like the the, the pain got to build up? And then it's like it's the like bus in the something got to, yeah, something got to build up with it. Yeah, it's like something got to build up. Like I got to just be in a certain mood. Like I say, like we was in the studio. Everybody was just in a, everybody was in a online, you feel me? And I'm just like, shit, I just hear the beat. Then I hear that beat, I'm like, shit, all right, we could come, I could come crazy on here, like. Feel me? I could come crazy, cause the way the beat was just was, like. Damn. And then I came crazy. That's how I be with a lot of my songs, though. That's why I don't even be freestyling for real, cause niggas be like, bro, no, you need to, like, you got a right to that. Like I, like my brothers, like I get their approval. Like they'll be like, no, nah, bro, don't freestyle. Write to it. I'd be like, all right, let me write to it. Do you cry, man? Uh, what you mean, like? Like, do I'm you rapping? cry? Do you cry? Have you cried yet? Shit. Like, I cry, but it's like, I don't, 
I don't just like you take feel a lot. me. Like yeah, like it'd just take a lot for me to just like. You feel me? Just to cry. Like, I don't know what it had to be. Like, probably just a bunch of thoughts. Like, I ain't gonna lie though. I'm lying. Cause I'll start crying off good flashbacks and bad ones, bro. For real, for real. Like, off of the shit that, like, my family, like, all that shit. Like, it's just that we done had a bunch of good times, a bunch of bad times. So it's like, you feel me? I had, like, some good flashbacks and some bad ones. And I'll just be like, you feel me? Sometimes niggas be crying and they be like, damn, why you crying? I be like, shit, I don't know, I'm just thinking. Feeling good, right? Yeah, like it'll be like I had a good little memory. But it be like, I do be like, you feel me, I'll cry. Like I probably just had to listen to like a certain song and it's like really like you gotta be like, I feel like you like a goaded ass artist, you make a nigga cry. Like the only niggas music I done listen to and cry, Rod Wave, Lil Wayne. And mm. the only two, so it's like shit, you know? Them niggas is goaded, but they be talking. It be like shit you could really relate to in certain songs, you feel me? It would be like... I know one thing, man. You got a... <clears throat> Imaria. Like, that's your, like, ride or die. That's my baby. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mad support. I see, I see that all day. Imaria is like... You can't play with her. She like the little sister I never had. But we was always with each other. I ain't gonna lie, but Ibarra, she like mad supportive though. She mad supportive on a bunch of different type of times, you feel me? She gonna support me through whatever. So like, don't get on me and her bad ear. Yeah, like she gonna support me through whatever. Yeah. She worse than me. She worse than me. <laughs> That's what's up, sir. man. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what's up. I think like that's special. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, that's definitely special, man. That's my baby for sure. Like through we did with the airy school with each other. Airy school that we didn't go to with each other. I didn't got expelled from. I swear, it's like if I were with her, I didn't got expelled or kicked out. You think she keep you level headed, man? Of course. It's like she understand a lot. You feel me? It's like she understand a bunch. You feel me? Like she understand a bunch. It's like so that's that's who you can talk to about anything, and y'all can resonate with each other. Like no judgment. Yeah. Okay. It's like no judgment. Like cause it's like she know she know everything. And then by that being your family, that trust factor is already there. As you know, what I'm saying. Okay. But it's like I like that. She like a different type of family, cause all my family don't be on that. Right. So you feel me? It's like all of them don't be on that. But that's like what person like I can talk to, all that pop up at her crib, whatever time. Yeah. Open that door. She unlocking it, or somebody unlocking it for sure. And I can be with 10 niggas. Like, it'll be me and my whole entourage. Like, right. for real. Like, I'm, like, last summer, it's me my whole entourage. I'm drunk as hell. I'm calling her for, hey, unlock your door. And that door unlocked. I'm coming in and sleep on the floor for sure. Like, me and 10 niggas. Like, that's how it is. Like, ain't that's no judgmental up. thing. It's just real love. And then I could talk to her about anything. She could talk to me about anything. And then I know sometimes she'll feel like I be on little hoe shit because, you know, I done been cool with a couple of her boyfriends in the past. And them niggas would be out there doing little cheating, little sneaking shit. But, man, bro, used to tell her, we young. We got to get over that shit, Imari. Like, we young. But that's my baby. She got her head on straight for surely. Yes, certain she times, she does. Certain she times, does. I ain't gonna lie. She be on a bunch of bullshit, but he got like we all do. <laughs> be on a bunch of bullshit, but we got our heads on straight when we need to have them on straight. She going to college. What's the longest amount of time you ever spent away from the city? Away. Mm. I say. Really? Nah, for real, I think. Really? Yeah, because I'm on my own time. 
Mm -hmm. I'm on my own time. Like we are on our like me and everybody I'm with. I'm only with two niggas. We on our own time. Okay. Moving how we want to move. So it's like we are not. I can leave when I want to leave. Right. Every other time I be with other people, I be on other people's time. We on our own time though. That's what's up. Well, we gonna go ahead and wrap it up, man. <laughs> thank you for coming for through sure. once again, like Trey, I man. Said, thank you for this, this, this motherfucking interview been a long time coming, man. Um, before we wrap it up, man, give a shout out to Music Heads and all of that. Literally, shout out to Music Heads. Yeah. Oh, murder. Like, like I said, this finna be, like, no, no, yeah. I need a beat made, like, for real, and I need you to make it. Like, I need you to have somebody. I know you don't really be making the beats, but... It's like a old murder beat, like so. It's gonna have to be that bitch gonna have to be made from scratch or something, probably. But like, I need it like coming on. All niggas hearing this, oh murder, like that's all niggas hearing coming on, just like that. And I ain't gonna lie, it might be an old murder anthem, depending on how I'm feeling. That'd be fire. Never know who I might get on there. You ever heard that song your pops and them did back in the day called Oh Murder, Murder? You gotta let me hear all they this got shit. Them, man. They got one of them <laughs> you too, gotta man. let me. Hey, you gotta let me hear that one with me and my mama. Bro. Yeah. I swear to God, I got it. I got you, man. And we gonna wrap it up, man, and shit, man. Hey, man, much success in the music career, man. And For surely, we got a quit. long way to don't, go. It been a long quit. time coming, don't bro. Quit, we got man. a long nigga. You ain't quit. I ain't quitting. I ain't we shit, bro? I ain't gonna lie. Like I say, getting rich easy, being broke easy. Niggas gotta pick they easy, bro. Like shit. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't realize how easy making fifty thousand was until I did it. Like shit. It'd be like some shit. I know millionaires probably don't be realizing how shit that like how easy it'd be till they do it. That's probably how it really be for some of them. And I feel like that's how it's gonna be for me and everybody I'm around, cause we really like got shit planned. Like the way we just be thinking. Like, if I keep the right niggas around, right people around, it'll be right. Because it's like, just that's my way for money to make that's money. That's true. I'd be thinking, like, give me a million and I'll turn into a billionaire. But I'd just be like, a million, like, that's like a billion so far from a million, bro. Like, mm -hmm. that shit is like so far from a M. But I'd be thinking, like, bro, just give There's me. a saying, bro, that the guy says, um, if you want to see how successful you're going to be, look at the people you keep around you. So if you're around successful people, go-getters. <laughs> if you're around lazy motherfuckers, you feel me? So, yeah. But we out, man. For sure. We're going to wrap it up. Think about that. Let that sink in, but don't let none of that shit pass you.